Hello, beautiful people. Are you guys comfortable in the world that we live in now? People used to spend their lives dedicated to one goal, but now we're so divided that we can't even come together for common cause. We still see ourselves as a superpower when none of our citizens can even name three countries. We've dumbed ourselves down and we've poisoned our food. We're allowing 80 year olds to dictate what we do as 30 year olds. Why are we allowing them to run the world when we are going to be left behind? I'm not saying any kind of revolution. I just want people to stop fighting for a random reason. You guys want to hurt each other over which football team is the best. Why does it matter? You know, you're watching somebody on your screen right now talk about the problems when in 15 minutes you're going to be stuck glued to the screen again, allowing these companies to steal your time which is the most valuable thing you have. When was the last time you actually went outside? Fuck money. You're addicted to your phone. We're addicted to the food that we eat that's filled with cancer-causing chemicals. There's nothing we can do about it now. Most of us look forward to World War III. Some of us crave that change in society where we want the zombie apocalypse to happen. We want to feel useful again, but now we're here stuck in a society where they can't decide how many genders there are. Kids are stuck to their phones. The content in which kids evolve to now are bright flashes of light and screaming sounds. And these are the people that are going to run our country, run our world later. We see them as kids. They won't be. One of them will be president. And think of how that's going to affect the rest of the world. They already make fun of us because of how dumb we've become. How overweight the population is. They're all surpassing us. As the US, we've become weak. We're a joke to the rest of the world. Isn't it crazy that we pay football players millions of dollars a year? Anyone lower than $50,000 a year is struggling, and that's the average. We allow the government to take as much money out of our pocket as they want and send it across to other countries. Most politicians make six figures, and everyone actually working typically makes five. If you made $80,000 a year in 1990, that's worth roughly $194,000 today. Think of how much you could actually be doing. Where you could go if you made 100000 a year instead of being stuck at 30. Imagine what we could do if we actually worked together again. We're stuck just watching each other through a screen. I feel like we were more connected before the internet. Everyone the younger generation looks up to is now being outed as a pedophile. And a lot of people defend them. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because they like them because they grew up idolizing them. They don't think that they can do anything wrong. And it's crazy because the punishment for that is no longer than a few months, maybe a few years, sometimes just a fine. You're only taxed for the illusion of tax. Treasury bonds are the actual value. Treasury bonds print money. Money makes treasury bonds. It's an unlimited cycle. You can really do whatever you want once you get to the top influence law so what you want to get away with is no longer punished but by a fine but is a fine even a punishment to the rich or is it to scare the poor i don't know why i'm making this video to be honest with you it's not your typical joke video i just wanted to talk i get stuck in thought sometimes i just stare off into the distance because i don't know what to think i know offending people is the easiest thing to do in today it takes no effort and i'm not talking left or right. I mean both. You know, a six inch piece of fabric that covers your face triggers most of the Republican Party. Whereas the word biology triggers the left side for some reason. We grew up learning that facts were important and opinions didn't matter. But now our opinions are being forced on us. We're being told what to think by these big corporations. They use media outlets to manipulate your thoughts so your emotions can react before you have time to think about it on your own. Do you even have your own thoughts anymore? Or are you just regurgitating everything you've seen on the internet? Mindlessly scrolling miles a day on the glass surface of your phone? Maybe you feel like you need to control your life again, so you stay up late? Some people argue over which side is right when it comes to war. Most of them don't realize both sides have innocent lives caught in the crossfire. And what do we fight for? Oil, religion, nationalism, competition over land. Would you really fight for your government, for the people at top now? Would you fight to keep your taxes high and your income low? To make houses eventually unaffordable to anybody other than those who are in power? 
Do you feel like it's fair?